Hello Collective. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Pam Star Oracle. I'm Pam. Nice to meet you. To my loyal support, thank you. Uh, I appreciate you all. I welcome you back. Two new subscribers, I welcome you back. Hopefully I can uh, give you a message to people viewing my channel. Hopefully I can give y'all something. You'll hit subscribe. I appreciate you guys. And uh, I thank each and every one of you. So let's get into this. When I get to 500, I'm going to give a deck away. So keep, I hope y'all keep uh, subscribing to me, new people, so I can give a deck away. And y'all give me your name, and I'm going to send it to you. And I'm going to send you something special in that deck from me. Oh, Minotaur, come out. It says your party is transported to the entrance of a labyrinth. The only escape is to find the center. A guardian Minotaur lurks somewhere within. Ooh, so this was like a maze you had to go through. See the maze behind that Minotaur? 101, wouldn't that be scary to be in that maze and that big thing out of horns come at you? <laughs> it would, wouldn't it? And then we got... We got Minotaur Spire. Choose a skill. You gain plus two to all checks using that skill. You gain proficiency in this skill if you did not already have it. And then it says draw again. It says your appearance is irrevocably changed at the Divine Masculine's discretion mask. So, um, I think what it's saying is your Divine Masculine is like a damn bull Taurus. See that? And Divine Masculine said, uh, Divine Maslow said, there's nobody whose skills are better than yours. He uh, And he's thankful of the skills that you have. He also knows that you rip off these people's masks. But I think it's saying uh, uh, Divine Masculine is, uh, is mirroring. He might be mirroring you at the moment, okay? He's, he's mirroring your, he's trying to mirror your energy and uh maybe and this came out like this so it's it says north node and that reflects your future and south node reflects your past and i think what it's saying in the present let's pretend right here in the middle since it come out like that they're trying to block your light and they can't they can't block your light Ooh, and uh look let's try mirror magic but i think it's saying uh divine masculine is mirroring you and he's in way too deep at the moment with something he's in way too deep and uh maybe he's in way too deep and this woman gaslights and love bombs him and and it used to work with him and now it's not working anymore there he's wanting a fucking divorce d-i-b-o-r-c-e he wants a divorce and uh and uh he's he's listening to this guidance uh we all have guidance deep inside of all of us your guides are trying to show you that you need to trust the guidance deep within and listen to those whispers of self you taught him this he's been listening to those whispers of self and he also knows that uh you're you and him are going to be social media stars oh wow that's what it is and he's been learning a new trade. You taught him this. Divine Masculine's learning a new trade. He He's focused on building his wealth and learning how to implement the things that he's learned into his business and keep watching his money grow. That's what he's doing with that new trade. Well, that's good, Divine Masculine, whoever you are. I hope you, hope you get it, babes. And um, a death is coming within a week or two to whoever this person is. Somebody's on their way to the hospital because one of the organs is starting to shut down from all the drug use in the past. So their drug use organ is shutting down. And somebody was planning uh, your funeral and my funeral out here like we was ready to kill over and we're healthy. Wow. Uh, you're going to have to go to the lawyer's office here in a week or two because somebody's dying. And plant, you know, because maybe you, you have an inheritance coming. You're going to have to go to that lawyer's office. And um, these people used to bow down at your house feet. These people that got paid to come spy on you and gawk on you. These people uh, got paid by some older idiots. And, you know, that was a red flag, red flag, what I'm telling you. 
and somebody wants to break in your home, they're spying on you. They're spying on you. These these dudes that this meant this older man paid, and and it's some heavy set man. This person is blocked off from talking to you because spirit showed you this against you, and they didn't want you to have your own business. And now God is gifting it to you because you're in your calling, and God is gifting to that person, whoever that heavy set man is, with death. <laughs> I love how spirit tells the story, don't you all? And you're defending what is rightfully yours at the moment. And you've been resting very well because spirit's not letting these people come into your dreams. So they're totally blocked off from you. And you and you sleep so well. <laughs> Good for you guys. Good for you guys. Uh, repent of your sins. Someone is being fake with you now. Y'all better repent of your sins, whoever's being fake. In real life with me or my collective. And uh, and if people fuck with you, they're going to receive karma 1,000 fold. Because your spirit guides will come and get them for you. And spirit said, whenever you get this money from Mr. Death, go shopping with that money that spirit is bringing into your life. Okay, spirit. Okay, spirit. My collective said they will. And, and these people that sent spells towards you... Uh, it, it, all, all they do is love being center of attention and talking shit on you daily. It boosts their self-esteem to make fun of you. And uh, you you broke free from this stuff. You broke free from these people in, in your life. <laughs> you need to. If you didn't, Spirit said you better get off your ass and break free from these people. It keeps fucking you over. And gossip and slander is all these people do. And there's embezzlement going on at that workplace where these people sit around and gossip. All they do is fucking embezzle money. <laughs> And she's being a sneaky, cunning, sly fox bitch. And she might have blonde hair. This person wants to come back and profess how much that she loves you. And, and tell you that she's sorry for blabbing their, her mouth about you. And, and, and no, she's being a sneaky, cunning fox, man. Are you listening? Um, Divine Last when she's a cunning little fox. And Mother Moon uh, out... Maybe you're a person who saw Bigfoot and the Indians viewed these as spiritual guardians of the earth. You know, they're like, uh, they're guarding over us humans. And somebody might be getting ready to see a Bigfoot underneath Mother Moon at night. That's what it's saying. And you could be a laid back, easygoing person. You just like being calm and showing others that by being calm, you can live in harmony with your partner. And you know that life is fragile, and you handle it with prayer. Thank you for that. He's your emperor, babes. It says, when I first saw your face, I knew that we'd saw each other before, my cupcake. I saw me through your eyes and knew we'd lived a many, many more lives, my cupcake. That's why me, Pam. Ooh, emperor loves you, cupcake. Emperor loves you, cupcake. And you did try to be empathetic and understanding to somebody, and and uh, and uh, you and you're communicating clear with these people. You're very empathetic and understanding, and you've helped these people, and they still didn't care. You're a public speaker, and somebody out here needs to make a vision board and plan out your life the way you want to live it, and look at it so you can look at it daily and dream big. Public speakers, I'm teaching you all this. That's why I wrote it on a card. Oh, let's see. Divine Masculine wants to take you to Vegas and elope. Proposal's coming, my love. Oh, 839-838-839. Proposal's coming to us, baby. Oh, in a nick of time. Right in a nick of time. Proposal's coming in a nick of time. 849 Oh, oh, baby. It said, I tried to send you something sexy, but the mailman told me, get out of the damn mailbox. Oh, he wanted to send his sexy ass zip wrapped up naked in the mailman. He get out of the fucking mailbox. <laughs> and Divine Masculine is coming to your rescue. He's going to whisk you away to a new state to live with him. Oh, he's coming. He's going to come by your house, dude, baby. Uh, that's true love. Because he's proposing to you. Oh, and here's a new one, too. And Divine Masculine wants to feed you some strawberries and put whipped cream all over that body and taste you over and over until the morning hour. That's my me, Pound Star Oracle. Ooh, he loves strawberries. Maybe you all live in the town of Strawberry Festival. 
Oh, that's so funny, ain't it? Me, my collective that knows where I live. <laughs> Someone who owns like the whole downtown. <laughs> they know that we. They know we got strawberry festival. <laughs> oh, I love that spirit. Do y'all love that? Okie dokery. So, uh, so uh, there's embezzlement at work. Somebody has to defend what is rightfully theirs. You might have to go to the lawyer's office. Uh, somebody's in way too deep. And they need to get a divorce. Red flags, red flags. They need to repent of their sins to you, this heavy set man. Because they somebody being a sneaky, cunning fox around with that, uh, with that man. And uh, you got to break free from people that you don't need in your life. These people can't block your light. These people used to bow down to your damn feet. Bow down to your emperor's feet. Your emperor's, babe. And life is fragile. Y'all handle it with prayer. And, and Divine Masculine is coming to take you to another state. He And he's somebody who owns like the whole damn town. And this motherfucker is a true emperor. <laughs> he's going to propose to you, baby, you public speaker. He says, oh my God, you communicate so clearly about this mother moon. Oh, wow, I love you. You're learning me new trades all the time. Oh God, I'm going to have stardom with you. And and uh, Divine Maxwell well said, go shopping with this money that you get from this death. And because, you know, this death is coming in a week or two and go, go shopping with it. Now listen to what I said. Listen, that somebody... Uh, Somebody is going to have to go to a funeral because their body is dying from all these drugs, you know. And and uh, they know this person's being fake with you. And that they might have an illness in their line about it. And, and, and uh, people that send spells to you, they're going to receive karma a thousand fold. They can't break in and harm you, a chosen one, because Spirit always tells on them. Because you're somebody that lives in your present. You know how to reflect on your future and reflect on your past. And this guy sliding in love bombing mirror magic shit don't work anymore. These dudes was getting paid to fuck, fucking talk and spy on you and gossip. And this blonde, all she wants to do is come back to you. She loves you too because uh, she knows that uh, you've been resting very well. And she's trying to get back in your dreams. And spirit blocked you off from these people that was against you and showed you who was against you. That's why you start focusing on building your wealth, and Spirit loves you because you're very empathetic, and you're a laid-back, easy-going person. You teach people how to make vision boards, and you speak of how Divine Masculine really loves these Divine Feminines out here, and they want to marry them, and they think you're, you're, they're, you're the prettiest cupcake around, and they're going to put strawberries and whipped cream all over that damn body. And the mailman said, hey, guy, you can't get in the mailbox naked. Get out of here. He won him off. <laughs> Did you like that? Nobody has permission to steal that. No, uh-uh. Nobody ever thought of that one. And, and and I saw it, and and it was by unknown, and I'm the one talking about it. Nobody else needs to, okay? <laughs> I love y'all, you guys. And I uh, hope y'all liked that little message. You know, 1313. Yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Spirit, spirit, tell us a message real good. What's a message for collectivism? Oh, Empress. Uh -huh. He's your Emperor, baby. And then Empress came out. <laughs> Oh, gosh, almighty, you just wait a second, and I'm going to tell you something swelly, swelly, swell, I promise. Oh, I promise, I promise, oh, what about it, I promise. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> Spirit tales on them women's that was... All the time, it tries to fuck with you, shows you. <laughs> what other impers? What other impers? Impers. Hang on, don't you guys go anywhere. I love you guys. I'm trying to help. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, per toki, okay, per toki, de day. Spirit said, do kitty, bo kitty, there you go. Hey, hey, hey. He was, you know, uh oh, uh oh, ho, 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 ho. 
What is at the end of a bye-bye? Oh, what is it? Bye-bye. Oh, what is at the end of a bye-bye? Oh, what is it? Bye-bye. Oh, what is it? Bye-bye. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Spirit said that's what it is. Oh, that's what it is. And spirit knows and spirit shows us. Don't go nowhere. Bye bye. I love you guys and gals. Don't you get anxious because I'm just trying to tell us. A good something. <laughs> uh, bye bye. Oh, uh, uh, oh. Okay, so here's what I got you guys. Ooh, and the emperor. Ooh, empress and emperor right there. Ha 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 ha. I love that, don't you guys? Okay, so empress. Oh God, she is the celestial Isis. Oh, you need to go out in nature and do and do a lot of activities. You're very intelligent. This is about fertility and creation. Universal, fertility. United with spiritual rectitude. Oh, gosh. People's united with rectitude around your empress. You're very loving and bright. And somebody wanted to cause a tower in your life. They wanted to cause total ruin and destruction. Death. This arrogant, presumptuous motherfucker. The prison and ruin in desperation is always a person knows. Uh, they want it to punish you and you be out of balance. They wanted to ruin you, empress. They want it to ruin you and your loving relationship. You know, and the lovers in traditional tarot, that is, you know, a twin flame relationship. And, you know, you're always going to have tests and struggles. And this is about possessions and your conscience. And this is about the, the test and struggle between your possessions and your conscience. Okay? So, uh, you know, person, they're just trying to, this arrogant, presumptuous bitch was trying to put you and your lover in prison with with lies. <laughs> and the envoy of Nephititis come out, and this was a close friend of you. This is a close friend. And maybe your close friend is in love with you. Maybe this is your lover. They're trying to ruin your lover, which is your best friend, and they're wanting to bring you a gift. They want to bring you a gift of, ooh, the Lord of goodness, a man of medicine. They want to bring you some credibility, this patron. This lover wants to come tell you that he's very credible and he loves you and he's very literate. He wants to speak this to you, but he's he doesn't know how to tell of his emotions. And that's why Temperance came out, Temperance Angel. And he's going to take the initiative. He He's doing things in moderation. He's bringing peace, but he's very patient and he's a... He can adapt to any situation. And the hangman come out. Uh, this is about penitence, sacrifice, reparation, pardon, transition. Illumin he went through uh, a transition. It's got illuminated to him about... <laughs> it got illuminated to him how... Uh, how you've been warning him of these instructions. That's what got illuminated. He's paying attention to your instructions, the lame of Isis, Seven of Swords. And just as he's paying attention that uh, you're you're protected um, and, and you're balanced and you're fair and you know the law and, and this is about the consequences of action, reestablishes order and balance between fault and duty and good and evil. He knows that that's what you're doing. You're you're somebody who can speak on good and evil. And Seven of Pentacles, it came out. This is the royal diadem. And this is a recuperation, exchange, and gain. You're getting ready to gain some money. Ooh, when you see Seven of Pentacles and that little man sitting there and building the wealth. And he's sitting like he is looking at his Seven Pentacles on them traditional tarots. Uh, that's when you know you're getting ready to have a uh, exchange of some money coming to you, Lady of Science, Queen of Wands. You're someone who practices faithfulness. Uh, cor you're very cordial. You know cordiality. This, this is an intense friendship. You're gaining an intense friendship with this. Uh, their their trap. This traveler is uh, 
going to journey in, he's departing and going to journey his way over to you. He's going to arrive to you and say, hey, here I am. Get in, get in the vehicle uh, and go off with me so um, you can get away from this person that is very violent. Come with me with someone who has ambition. Oh, I love you for that spirit. And the fool came out. Oh, gosh, Aries Emperor, I told you. Oh, and and and, and uh, this person um, that you, they're wanting you to leave, this emperor's wanting you to leave them because they're wanting to punish you, fool. They're wanting to punish you. Uh. Maybe you had a lack of direction at one time. You were your emperor and you taught them how to get out of that way of being. And the glory of Kefri come out. He's been, it got illuminated to him about his intuition. You you taught him how to pay attention to his intuition. And, uh, ooh, and then we got Queen of Cups, Lady of Life. This is about hospitality and your foresight, sensitivity, and your wisdom. He's paying attention to all your wisdom. Are you listening? And, um... Or somebody that's older than you, viewer, uh, it might be a Taurus, I mean, a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer woman. Uh, you've, you've gained a lot of foresight through this person, and you're paying attention to their wisdom. And uh, then we got the eye of raw came out, and this, you know, is in Hebrew. And this is about your material wealth. Raw is watching over your material wealth. <coughs> <laughs> you loving uh, Empress, you loving Empress that, you know, could be a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Cups. Raw is watching over your wealth. It got illuminated. And the Teeth of Sobek came out. This is about uh, your inner Osiris. Ooh, we all have an inner Osiris. Oh, gosh. And this person, it was at fault. And um, they wanted you to feel discomfort. They wanted you to feel discomfort and heartbreak. <laughs> Three of Swords. Uh, um, they was uncertain about your development. And this is the the division of Gib, and this is a sharing out, sharing out. Uh, Aquarius, somebody was lying to you. See, Aquarius, water, 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 water. That's Aquarius. Uh, always deceit, lying, betrayal, you know. Uh, this discomfort in this betrayal um, made you go into hermit mode and reflect on all the things that you had done and and you've got an armor, you got a, the armor of, of sage and wisdom and prudence around you at the moment. Spirit placed it around you for you going inside and hermiton. Uh -huh. And uh, then we got the ship of the dead. The uh, Here's some more Aquarius energy. This is introspection, research, daring. This is getting uh, sailing away to calmer waters, okay? You used, uh, you, you removed, you removed yourself and to put yourself into hermit mode because you had, you know, you had done wrong before and you had to do a lot of introspection and you've done a lot of research. You might be going on an adventure and that's why four of pentacles come out and that's Uriah of the North. You could be closing accounts and dividing up goods. Oh, so it might be getting a divorce. Huh. Might be getting a divorce from his King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And uh, this is the Lord of the World. This is practical and well-disposed uh, tradesman, rich, intelligent. So somebody might be closing out accounts with this rich, intelligent man. And uh, the Scepter of Horus, did you hear that? Division of Goods. It said earlier that somebody was going to die and you had to go to the lawyer's office. Twenty-three fifty-five. did you just hear that? Whoever it is, it's an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And you're going to have to go to that lawyer's office. So, uh, because it says closing accounts, division of goods at the bottom right there. They're de so, all this wealth is at the lawyer's office. you got to go get it. And and this is uh, going to be a beginning of a new undertaking for you and your creativeness. Oh, 24, 24. Spirit's going to give you enough money to... 
you can just take care of yourself forever uh, and be very stable. Huh? You're going to be very stable and you're going to be an authority figure. And you, and you hold up your integrity and your indestructible qualities, you and your empress. So, uh, that's funny. So, what it's saying is, Empress, uh, you're, you're, you're a very spiritual, beautiful, loving mother figure, and your, your lover wants to bring a gift to you. They want you to transition, and it got illuminated. They want it how you had to self-sacrifice yourself. They want to, uh, cooperate and exchange, uh, exchange gifts with you and give you some money, and they want you to be successful and triumph with them and get away from this violent, ambitious dick face and and use foresight and planning and you're you're someone who's very sensitive and wise and and they know that you know that this is an uncertain development, but they want you to believe it and get away from this lying, deceitful deceitful way. If you haven't, spirit's telling you, uh, you need to close out accounts and divide goods up with this person. And just let the tower fall. Just let it. Just let it go to ruin. And and because you know you're somebody who's credible, and people believe you. And spirit is giving you instructions, warning instructions. The lame of Isis right now. You got protection, Lady of Science. You're very faithful and cordial. And uh, and spirit knows these. This man just wanted to punish you and uh, or woman and uh. And that's why the Hebrew eye raw is stirring down right now. Going to give you some material wealth, and and because you're somebody who is a sage, and you got a lot of wisdom, and you practice patience and, and prudence, and uh, this rich, intelligent tradesman is a that's very well disposed and practical is uh wanting to be your lover they want to have peace and balance with you and and uh you know temperance peace patience justice balance of the law fairness that's where you, you got to go to court to receive these gifts you're gonna have to travel to the courthouse to get these gifts it just got illuminated by me right now when i tell you you got to use your intuition and and uh tell your fault and, and and it's gonna cause a little discomfort but you'll have to tell your faults in the marriage and uh you know be daring and, and speak of the research you found out and you'll and you gotta take the initiative oh you gotta take the initiative to be a stable authority figure with integrity yeah you do you gotta take the initiative and tell things like i have on my channel until y'all do that, y'all can't be someone like that until you do that. You have to tell all your lies and who the third party was. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, you do. You do. So if y'all want to do a job like this, that's what you got to do now, you guys. I just told you, ass. Yeah, we didn't believe it or not. But I tell you true now. I tell you true. Okay, have one of these for us. We're all we thank you. We t t t thank you. You need to give your relationship a chance and work on your partnership. Don't give up on your partnership if you got one. And somebody needs to love yourself first. You, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Oh, yeah, because you respect yourself more. A lot of people see you attractive, and they will. And, and your soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. That's who you need to uh, work on this partnership with, uh, there's just religious factors. Maybe one of you is religious and one of you is more spiritual, but you're influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. Somebody is. What's this next time? Very soon, decide what you want. So when it comes to you, you need to flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Very soon, you're going to be flirting and loving it. And let your friends help you. Ask for it. Accept support from others. Ooh. You're going to be flirting with your friend very soon. Stay optimistic about this love life. Positive thinking and faith brings you romance. They love you. They love you. Bye, 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 bye. And uh, somebody needs to... Uh, you have known each other before. Stay optimistic about this love because y'all have known each other before. 
and uh, you gotta let go of control issues and allow this situation to unfold naturally and release your ex. The time is coming to clear your energy, see? So, that's what you gotta do now, bye, Georgie. But, but, bye, Georgie, you got to. You gotta make the effort and let go of people, places, and things that you don't need if you wanna go towards your soulmate or twin flame, okay? That's what you gotta do, bud. That's what you gotta do. It's what we gotta do, baby. That's what. Uh-huh, baby. Pieces. I love you guys.